Hello and welcome back to the channel. Take a look at this rendering and would you believe me that it was actually created in just under 5 minutes in Photoshop. You heard me right. I want to introduce a new product that I've created called 50 Photoshop pencil brushes for architects and using these anybody can make such renderings in just a few minutes. This brush set retains the character of the pencil strokes and it seamlessly blends as you use it in Photoshop. Along with this video, I'll also be giving away a free brush and to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you think about these brushes. So, let's jump into the video and see how this was done. Now, this is the section that we'll be using for this rendering and it was imported from AutoCAD. So, let's first rasterize the section layer and also close the ground line with a basic brush so that it's easier to select with the magic wand. We'll start off by selecting the section cut walls with the magic wand tool and create a new layer. We'll go to the brushes panel and select the diagonal brushes that I've created. I'm just going to hold down shift and draw a straight line over the selection and you can see that it has created a diagonal pencil lines. So similarly, let's now select the ground plane from the base section, create a new layer and choose the next diagonal line brush from the set. We can again hold down shift and draw over the selection and we can see the seamless hatch lines made on the ground plane. So for the next step, we'll maybe add a material texture to the inner walls of the building. So we'll make a selection of the walls. I've created a cast concrete texture in the brush set. It's right here. So we'll select that and draw over this section. The next is an interesting step which is to add cross hatches. We'll select cross hatch 1 from the brush set and start drawing over the edges of the section. We're trying to achieve the effect of light coming from the top of the structure so the edges of the structure will be darker. So accordingly, let's add the hatches over the edges and leave some white areas in the middle where the light enters. We can gradually keep changing the grey tone to darker ones so that there's a nice effect of gradient in the section. Now that we have the cross hatches, we can make the section more interesting by adding a pergola element on top which will cast rectangular shadows inside the structure. So with the selection tool, let's create a linear rectangle that is parallel to the section cut walls. We'll choose the layer on which we made the section hatch and we'll select a basic soft brush with an opacity around 50 and let's start erasing over the cross hatches. We can notice that this is giving an effect of light falling into the structure. A similar effect can be made at this part of the selection as well where there is light falling inside the opening. Let's just erase it with a soft brush and get a nice gradient. The section already looks good so next we'll probably have to add hatches to the other areas below. Let's make a selection, create a new layer, choose another cross hatch brush from the set and draw over it. So let's add some trees to the section and make it more lively. We'll choose another tree brush to create a variation. Let's also play around with the sizes of the brush. We've also got a sky hatch in the set, so let's add a nice sky in the background. So we notice that the sky layer falls inside the section as well because the base is transparent. What we'll have to do is first move the sky layer behind. We'll select the base section layer and create a plain white background in a new layer under it. So when we move the white background layer, it fixes the transparency of the section and the sky doesn't disturb the rendering. So the section is almost done. Let's just choose the basic pencil brush which looks exactly like a pencil when you draw. We'll just add some extension lines and smaller hatch lines 
to create a sense of depth and character to the drawing. We've also got a dashed line brush which we can use to add annotation lines and markings. And there, the rendering is done in just under 5 minutes. So this brush set is going to be highly useful if you're an architecture student or a practicing architect and is available in ABR format. The link to these brushes are in the description below. As for the giveaway, make sure you subscribe to the channel and made a comment on this video. The winners will be contacted directly for their free files. And that's it from this video, I see you on the next one.